So to get to the museum, as you can see, all these dinosaur markings from the feet of the T-Rex is going to lead us right to the Dinosaur Museum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It leads you right there, guys. Pretty cool. Bugs, you want to go in the in the museum with us? See them dinosaurs? Huh? Huh? No? She's got a little lion cut. We got her little lion cut. You see the little bushy tail right there from the lion. You don't want to go? You probably eat all those dinosaurs in there. You should attack them. Right, Bug Bugs? Today's adventure. We stopped at the Messaland's Dinosaur Museum. And I believe you pronounce it Tucumcari, New Mexico. Maybe it's right. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. Yes. So we got the dinosaur thing going on here. Um, this right here lights up at night. It's all lighted. This, yeah. So this that lights up. Structure. Not too bad. Nothing and too also bad. I noticed right here where this dinosaur is, it left something for us. These are original, <laughs> billions of years old dinosaur droppings. There it is, dinosaur droppings. Yes, yes. As Mr. Ripley would say, believe it or not. So what's this say here? Okay, tusk of American mastodon. Uh-huh. 300,000 to 10,000 years ago, central New Mexico. Wow. It is. Hold on, hold on. This is Zaropod. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Ah. I'm not gonna, all right, you want me to try and get these it's words? It's an upper arm bone is what it is. Okay, so he didn't want me to get the words. It's 150 That's... million years ago. Mm -hmm. Say what? Karen is greeting us. Hi, Karen. How are you, Karen? Hi, Karen. What's going on? Look at Karen here. What's going mm -hmm. on? She's got her vest on. She's got some dinosaurs in her pocket. She's ready to go. She is doing her thing. She show sure is. Well, Cameron, thank you. Appreciate that. There's some plaques here. I touched a little bit. Everything was donated and dedicated, I meant to dedicated say. Dedicated May 5th, 2000. Yeah. Established through the vision and leadership of the Mesa Technical College. Look at this. College 25 board. museums. And guess what? 2011, they made it. All right, check it out. See what All we got. right, guys, here we are in the museum. Uh, we learned some history from uh, the director here, Lonnie. A fantastic woman. Um, very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Gave us a lot of info, which is good for us and good for you. So, uh, making bronze dinosaurs. So, this is not the things that they have made. These are actual fossils that the local college who owns them here in Tucumcari, New Mexico, middle of nowhere. <laughs> they bronze these. And so the real fossils, um, you got the claws and then the beginning of the mold, the mold half completed, and then just Original the process claw. of it. Um, See how it works? And why bronze dinosaurs? Because they're visually spectacular, because you were able to touch them, unlike most genuine fossils and bones, right? Uh, because Messaland's Community College has a bronze foundry capable of producing these replicas. Henry was the guy from the college here. Foundry man. Yes. At Messaland's Community yeah. College. Yeah, so he did a lot of stuff there. He was oh, yeah. big involved in this. And right here we got Lost Wax Method of Casting. Mm-hmm. All right. Look at this. What is a fossil? Here you go, you got some mammoth hair. Uh, 
reptile footprint. See it? I see it. Uh, an got, armor spike. Yeah, you guys can pause and read all that if you like. Sure. Um, a cave bear jaw. Wow. Yep. A sycamore leaf. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, a cricket. Is a cricket. And that's what uh, John Hammond would have used if he didn't have the mosquito. Could it be the original Jiminy Cricket? <laughs> and or Jiminy Glick? <laughs> and these are, these are <laughs> sea lilies. Another uh, interesting fact, guys, about um, Tucumcari, New Mexico, is this used to be underwater. All underwater. And then, um, boom. As it dried up, you got land. That's right. And I'm gonna show you something here. You can find these oysters out here when it started, you know, coming up. Uh, this is an oyster shell. And if you can guess how many years old this is, write it in the comments. How many year old, how many years old do you think that is? Because you're not gonna believe it. So take a guess. Howard Shanks. And he donated his entire life collection of uh, minerals and fossils here to the Messalans Dinosaur Museum. And if those of you are out there that love rocks and collecting them, my I know my niece does, look at these beautiful, beautiful rocks. I mean, look at this right here. Look at that. How they shine. Wow. Look at this. Amazing. Look at this. We're gonna hit each row because these are really cool. And you guys can pause it and, and read all these different ones. And I know Tanya would love to read every single one to you. I, I like the narrate. Look at that crystal I back know, there. isn't that cool? But you guys can I wanna hold pause them. it. And... I wanna hold them, does this <laughs> open? Look how cool these are, huh? Make sure you get them good because Gianna, oh, Gianna yeah. would love to see this. Yes, she would. These are really neat. Oh my goodness, huh? Wow, look how smooth and... Wow, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Well, these are so cool. So these are geodes, guys. Actually, we bought some geodes in um, Uranus, Uranus yes, Missouri. Uh, yes, got did. that for my niece. So, I mean, they're beautiful inside. I mean, look, I would love to do every single one, but I just gave you one case and there's just so, so, so many really really cool looking like rocks here you guys gotta come spend some time here look through them find your that, favorite rock on it. Yeah. you know and then uh you can see here at the museum that they spare no expense of really displaying something i mean something so gorgeous. amazing it's gorgeous it's, you know this. and it's so educational even if you're not like almost not even into the rocks and stuff like that, but I got news for you. Coming to see this live and in person, it's it's just a whole nother animal. I promise you that. Got some IFOs over here, guys. Identified, identified flying objects. Look at this, huh? So, wow, wild. Um, Look at this. So would that mean these have fallen out of the sky? I think it might have. So if you felt something hit your head, it could be right <laughs> inside this museum. That's right. The dinosaurs, baby. I do not love dinosaurs. I'm gonna crystallize the critter. Look at that. Looks like a, uh, a heart almost. Or a snail. All right, ready? Bare finger, guys. What are we gonna see? Well, look at what happens. Ow. You see this? How cool this is? These are rocks that yeah. literally like yep. glow. They glow different colors. colors. When the black lights on them, you see all That's different amazing. colors. Isn't it amazing? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to start collecting rocks. <laughs> it makes you want to really do it, huh? Look at this. Scorpion. I knew it was a scorpion before I read it. A sea scorpion. Remember, this used to be underwater to come carry. little history about to come carry as you guys look around. Uh, the colony of this is underwater life and all that. Um, 
to come was an Indian chief or uh, something like that. Look at that little critter. And look at this critter, thick ribbed reptile. Wow. Uh, and Carrie was a Indian princess. They wanted to marry and their families would not let them marry. So they went up to the top of the mountain that is now called Tucumcari and they jumped. How sad is that? Seashells, love it. Look how pristine. That was like a shark tooth, huh? Yeah. Could it be a carcarine, carcaris? <laughs> a great white? Could it be? <laughs> Look at that giant scallops. Imagine eating a scallop of that size, guys. It just goes to show you how in time, everything got smaller. Everything, even packaged goods have gotten smaller. So nature is following everything else. Odd, isn't it? Something to think of. So we are now gonna start our journey through time in the age of dinosaurs. The Mesozoic era. Dawn. Triassic. Dawn of the dinosaurs. 245 to 200 million years ago. Wow. Imagine playing in the sand and grabbing that thing, huh? I'd be like, cha-ching! New Mexico state fossil. I mean, that's- That's the state fossil. That's amazing. Looks like a crocodile. Does. It's a skull. It's a plaster cast. Look at that. Look at this guy. All right, we got a dinosaur hunter. Dinosaur hunter is back there, so I guess this is the guy. Wow. Now, this is done in bronze. Yes, this is bronze. This was done in bronze. Wow. Look at the footprints that were found. See the footprints that are found? Yeah, there's a reason for that, that some stick, why do some footprints stick out? And um, that's because you're looking at a layer of sand filled with the original footprint. The one on the left, well that's okay. All right, we got the Mesolands Field Class Discoveries. Yeah, I guess wow. the whole class went out and found all this stuff. We got some tea. tea. Teeth. Teeth. That is so cool. Look at this. I mean, look how cute. Look what she found. Wow. Kids are a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mini little uh, geologist or, uh, you know, archaeologist. Okay, seriously, when Anthony said that outside about the droppings, that was a joke. This is not. <laughs> um, these are actual dinosaur droppings. There's another green hand there. I'm not sure what to do. Something gonna come at me. I don't know. So look, look at this. This is most dinosaur droppings were very small, but they probably produced lots of small pellets, like deer. Dare me to touch one? I did it. Poop finger. Why did you pet it? You petted it. And I touched you. That's okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure why I pet it. And why are we filming poop? <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's part of it. Just figured out about that <laughs> green hand there. It means you can touch the bones. Yeah. And the poop. Yeah. But if it's in these glass cases, guess what? You ain't getting to touch it. You ain't getting in it. Look at this. This, this is where, where the they... magic happens. Oh, right back Some here. Look magic. at all this, huh? Now look, something that still have yet to be displayed. That's right, like all this stuff I yet need to, to come. Get some of these rocks. So it goes to show you guys, this place is just not done. They're constantly putting out new rocks and fossils. So you gotta come and check it out. It's really cool. This place is amazing. Your kids will love it. Armor all. Heavily armored animal is called a desma to. Suchus. Wow, that is armor, huh? Wow, look at that. Why is that coming after you? Jesus. 
early crocodile. Wow. Agile crocodile. Wow. All right, we got some uh, skulls here. Really neat. It is cool to see. Look at this display. This is really nice. Wow. Imagine being here during that time. Oh my, I mean, you're, you're, you're just food. You are. This is you're like the food. swamplands and this is life in the, in, in the Triassic. Yeah. Because remember we're in the Triassic period right now. So you can read that guys if you want environment, vegetation, all that. Really crazy. That's awesome. Wild. Recent donations. That's awesome. I love that they do that, guys. Well, it's just where it belongs. I mean, what would you? It, right. It's nice to have this in your room. Don't get me wrong. Maybe a replica, but the real deal should definitely come to the museum. For sure. Wow. Now that is a head. Wow. Wait, is that called tiny head? That's a tiny head. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. Tiny wow. head. A skull like this one was once attached to the neck of a 60 foot long Camaris, Camarasaurus. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. One see, of the smaller. How is that? Look, see how people uh, donate? That's good. Look at my head compared to wow. that small. Can you imagine the bigger dinosaurs? Wow. wow. Stuck in the mud. Wow. Feet footprint. It goes to show you how. Big. Feet in a footprint, wow. How big the foot was. Wow. I mean, I bet you they can all stand in it. It's <sighs> crazy. Wow, oh, here it is. Look at this. Uh, oh, here it is, look at that. Are we allowed to get in it? There's an, a red X, but I'm not sure. No, it doesn't feel safe. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lonnie. Camasaur's leg, guys. Camasaur's leg. I want to show you my leg. <laughs> That's my leg. And, wow. and look, look at this. I'm it's, not. I'm, it's insane. I'm like right here. What? That's crazy. To think back then, these things, these beautiful creatures existed. Like, wow. Golden Age of Dinosaurs, Jurassic, 200 to 145 million years ago. Let's go onward. Wow, so this is a Jurassic wrestler, Torvosaurus. You can read all that if you want. Look at this guy. Now, I don't know much, but I would have thought like a T-Rex. I mean, tiny arms, big head. But, wow. It's amazing. See what we can learn? All right, so this is a, a Triceratops. It's a bronchiast of a skull from South Dakota. So these are real guys that they just bronze them. And I guess, you know, they last longer and all that. Look at this. And I believe in Jurassic Park, they were friendly, were they not? <laughs> Weren't they? Because, I mean, can you just imagine running up to them and, and just, they exist. They really do run in herds. <laughs> They really do. See, I didn't lie to you. So thank you, Lonnie, for the oyster shell. Um, so oyster shells, guys, giant oyster shells and how old they are and wow. Uh, oyster bank, a free swimmer. You got a giant oyster. Imagine eating an oyster like that. Hey, wow. Now you want oysters tonight. Oh my gosh, I would really love oysters. <laughs> I really would. Now, this is this is probably my favorite one. Teeth! <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, well, yes. That's a claw right there. We'll say it's teeth. teeth. Well, this is all teeth. The claw. All oh, these are just claws. These, that only these claw. Wow. Actually, this is a toe bone. Jeez. A brontosaur toe bone. Wow. Got some dinosaur eggs in here and all. Wow. wow. Now what they should have what they should have done is put a heating lamp on them and allow them to hatch <laughs> instead of just exhibiting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But wow, that's crazy. They they found them, huh? Wow. That's what the little wee baby would look like. Look at 
the wee babas. This is a cool little section for the kids. Yeah, it really is. So you bring the kids in here. This is really nice. Look at this. Digs. Yeah. Look at that. Get in there and they can find some fossils and things like that. Yeah, isn't that cool? The kids dig up some stuff. Really neat. That's, that's yeah. really cool. Here. They can play here, right here. And, hey. and they can learn about the dinosaurs here. It tells you all about them, which ones they are, and all that stuff. Really cool. And hey, you want to ride a dinosaur? You're in for a treat. If you want to ride. <laughs> I'd really like to, but I kind of don't want don't to. Don't do it, don't. I, you know, it's kind of one of those things, want, don't want, don't. Cool little section for the kids. It is. That'll keep them busy. Let's hear what it sounds like. Push for sound. <laughs> sounds like Tanya after she eats beans. There's a footprint. Look at the size of that footprint. Hold on. This is a T Rex, baby. Here he is. In all its oh, glory. Tyrannosaurus rex skull. Wow. Wow. Let's compare heads. How easy I can get it in that mouth. Wow. That is crazy. Look how is cool. it a bird? Look at that, huh? This large animal, Struthiomimus. And there you are, Dorie. So. Is this, it a bird? Is this a, I mean, look at the feathers on it. Wow. Wow. Like a wild I mean, looking animal, huh? And looks to be like a carnivore. Acrocanthosaurus, largest carnivore that lived in New Mexico during the early part of Cretaceous. Okay. Wow. Wow. Look at that thing, huh? He's big. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's huge. <laughs> so we got right here, meteorites, Yucatan, you got Mexico, evidence for an impact, all this. So this tells you basically how they became extinct. Uh, I'm sure most of us know how they became extinct, but this literally will give you that knowledge. That's pretty cool. And if you're wondering how, Jurassic Park, the movies and all came to be. How Dr. Hammond did it, this is how he did it. With a mosquito embedded in the rock. Spare no expense. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Hammond. The King of Beasts, Ice Age Lion. That's our savanna. That's like from Ice Age. <laughs> and how Dr. Hammond did this, guys. Remember those rocks and he found them? A deer fly, you got a beetle and two gnats, fungus net, beetle net, and flies and all that. Yeah. And then he took that sap and made Jurassic Park. Spared no expense. And it is still going on to this day. <laughs> Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, everything. It will never close down. Never. All right, so they got the souvenir shop here. You're going to get uh, some shirts for the kids or adults. A lot of 20% off going on here, which is good. All right, they also have uh, little stuffed animals and stuff. Really cute for the kids or for yourself. And you can actually get some rocks. Really neat there. What do you got over there, Tan? So some you magnets can too. buy these minerals and rocks and all that. Yeah, these magnet. are magnets. Like the geodes and all that, that's really cool. Look at this in here. Love it, little nugget. And these two, you can any of these rocks you can purchase. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can fill a pouch. Some rocks, even these. All these are for sale. Look at that. Rose wow. quartz. I wonder. If Look at that. Wind chimes <laughs> of rocks. They do have some uh, toys and stuff too. Let's go crazy playing with this stuff. I know I did. I'm gonna call my dad real quick. And then you also have uh, a lot of fun stuff in here.
The bye. Feed me money and hear me roar. Saber tooth cat. I mean, obviously, I need more money personally to make me roar. Come on. Uh huh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I liked it. You can also get a souvenir penny as well. If you want, they got that machine in here too. How cool is that? Uh huh. There's the man. Wow. I was blown away. Pretty cool. Now, the manager over there, Lonnie, said that the uh, museum was well worth coming to check it out. She said it's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, everybody's going to talk about their museums and stuff like that. And they're always going to up it, make it sound better and all that stuff. But I was blown away. It was pretty cool. I have to say it was very well done, very well laid out. Um, the way they started the museum, all the way to uh, going right into the, the dinosaur age. And then how they uh, didn't exist no more. They planned it out just right. And it was done very tastefully. Very, very. Admission is super cheap to yeah. get in, guys. It's not worth missing it. It's off the beaten path. You know, in the, the middle of nowhere in Tucumcari, New Mexico. But it, it's a really nice place to visit. I had a great time, personally. Yeah, so if you're going down um, Route 66, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Route 40, okay, uh, you will see the sign for that. I believe it's exit 332 mm -hmm. off that exit. And and, and it's, it's something you shouldn't miss. It's really, really great. Mm -hmm. And there, uh, Natalie was working behind the desk and also... Um, Very sweet Lonnie, girl. Lonnie, the manager. I mean, sweet girls. Wow. Yeah. Great people. Real nice. Answered all questions. Help us out with everything. Yeah. Now, Tanya's niece uh, is in the rocks, so they have a lot of big selection. As you see, my seen little in the video. cutie patootie. Yeah. I love all my little cutie patooties. Yes. I also got a couple of flat stones. He wasn't gonna let me tell you a couple of flat stones. <laughs> Aggie. It's like a geo polished on both sides. Couple of those. And again, not super expensive, guys. No, they're really reasonable. They, I, they really super are. reasonable. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, how much are these rocks going to cost? <laughs> Even they have small, medium, large in the glass case yeah. in the gift shop. Did you video that? Yes, I did. Honestly, the price is super reasonable. Like, yep. I, I'm okay with it. So, guys, definitely don't check out... Uh, Definitely check out the museum. It's an amazing museum to check out. You're going to get some history. You're going to learn a lot. And you never know. It might even intrigue the little ones that become, uh, you know, into that field. Some uh, geologists never or uh, archaeologists yes. or whatever. Look, they should be doing something more than just sitting in front of a TV and playing video games, true, right? True, 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 so true, get true. them out. Go enjoy. So, guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That helps youtube say hey this is a great video you gotta watch it yeah also if you like to support the channel down below we got our patreon and also our um our gear our gear is our amazing. gear yo our gear is amazing you got to check it out our logo is awesome i love it love it and we also have the paypal as well guys we really appreciate you joining us in this adventure and stay tuned to the upcoming adventures mm -hmm. by hitting that notification yes. button and subscribe to our channel yep and don't forget to share guys don't be greedy sharing and is caring that's right and don't put off tomorrow which you can do today god bless guys we'll Bye, see you next guys. time